All right, Ollie. So just gonna break down um, an air reverse that you see Ruben here do um, back when he was surfing in Bude and I was down there filming a couple of the boys. Um, it's a real crazy air reverse how he whips it so quick, but there's some bits on it that I just want to highlight for you um, because here you've had a good amount of wall to pump and then a good section to try and air reverse. So let's see if we can pick apart what he did and see if we can help with your approach next time you get that sort of section. So you see I've slowed it down here so we can start looking at how he's pumped for speed and then just, yeah, real slow-mo, see what he actually did through the air. Um, so this is the pumping for speed bit. We can see he's lifting his arms. Uh, this is your pumping for speed where you're using the full height of the wave, whereas he's got the lift. And then on his approach, you can see how he's just fully rotated and thrown himself around. So I've just flown through first time, mate. We will go back through this. Um, but you can see as he's come into the lip, he's already leaning back. He's already opened up. He's, he's lifted his body up as he's going towards the lip. And then as he's hit the lip, he's brought his bottom part of his body up towards him. So he's done that ollie type pop on a skateboard. Um, and then when you see where yours as you approach, your arms sort of come across your body rather than lifting up. Got a bit of a lift there, maybe. Could have kept that left arm coming around, but we're going to break it down and have a real good look, mate. So first of all, then, in full speed again. Um, so you see as Ruben's pumping for speed, he's going along the wave. Okay, you're doing exactly the same. You're using uh, the, the shape of the board. You're using the, the line going across. Oh, that's a bit big. Let's get rid of that. Um... You're both eyeing the section of what you want to do. And when you're generating speed, you're going from the inside rail at the bottom of the wave, lifting up to the top of the wave, and then coming back down using the outside rail. So the, the kind of differences that we're seeing, although there's a lot of similarities in your approach, the differences we're seeing is his intent. There's a lot more energy in his intent. So his compression and extension is more dramatic. So he's using more energy. He's moving his body more. The one thing that I notice a lot really is how he lifts his arms up to pump for speed. So you see he throws his arms up as he extends. The board comes up out of the water a bit. So he gets some lift. So then when his arms drop back down and he's compressing on that right foot and he's pushing down on this rail here, he's got even more force because he's lifted up. He's like a squat jump almost. Um, you see him here compressing really low um, center of gravity position. He's got his outside arm on the outside rail, left inside arm on the inside rail that you can't see, a bit out of sight. And then as he's approaching the section, very much the same as you, he's rotating the opposite direction to what he wants to go because he's, he's sort of coiling up. It's that spring motion that we talk about where you're coiling up and then he's going to spring around. Um, it's because he's going for a full rotation uh you wouldn't really need to do it on the straight airs or just if you're going for a normal reverse but he's a aerial wizard so he's quite comfortable with this over rotation that he's not going to bog um or cause him to slow down on his approach as he's eyeing the section okay he knows what he's going for he's going for an air reverse but he's come with a really shallow bottom turn so but when i say a shallow bottom turn i mean that it's sort of mid-faced He's come along the wave here, and he's going to hit there. Whereas we'll see yours in a minute. You sort of take a, a bit of a deeper bottom turn as if you're going for a re-entry. So that's something to take note. He's, he's got all his speed from pumping, which you've done the same. So let's go back to that. You can see here, there's the first pump. He's lifted his arms as he's extended up the wave. Um, he's lifted his arms again, lifted his arms again. He's got all the speed. And as he's come into the section... He's leant back. You can see he's leaning back here as he's entering the wave um, because if I was to draw a straight line down, okay, his weight is more over his back foot than it is his front foot. So he's leaning back there. And then let's have a look. We've got it in slow-mo a bit later on, but let's just have a look. As he comes in for the approach, he's fully leaning back here. Again, you can see... Uh, his head is way past the back of his board there.
His arms are rotating around, and his head's looking around. He's so far away from his board there. That's what helps him get the pop. Just to go back in another detail to look at is he's come from low compression, just like he was on his pumps for speed. And just like on his pumps for speed, as he comes to the top of the wave, he's extending and lifting his arms up. But he's this time, instead of just throwing his arms up in front of him, he's also throwing a rotation in, so he's springing them around. You see here, the board's really far away from his body. That's how he gets the rotation. That's how he gets the pop. And then as he rotates, that's why the board comes back underneath his feet. Here you can see he's spotted his landing. His arms have continued to come round. So although it's not left hand, left rails because he's over rotated because he's trying to bring the board around quick, it is still in the right direction. He hasn't allowed that back arm to drop behind him, which we'll identify a little bit on yours in a minute. Here he's spotted the landing. He's going to just compress, take that landing, bring his head round and ride out of it. So let's have a little look then. First thing we're identifying here is your pumps for speed. Okay, so similarities is that you've got a nice small wave, but it's got enough speed here for you to, enough punch here, enough wall here for you to generate speed off. As you pump for speed, do we see any arm movement lifting up the wave? So you compress there, so you're going down, and then there's an extension there, which is so similar. You're extending to lift, but the difference being you didn't come from as compressed, so you didn't get as much drive, and you didn't lift your arms and use the full height of the wave. So you sort of stayed in that middle part of the wave to generate speed, whereas if you'd got right to the top and then compressed harder down the wave, maybe you'd have gone a bit faster. There's another lift there, which is great, but didn't quite lift the arm, so maybe could have been going even faster again. And then that's a much better pump where you've used the top of the wave. That left arm, we want to keep that in front so that we're pushing back down on the front board. That left arm behind, you've sort of got two different motions there. You've got you wanting to go forwards and that arm wanting to go backwards so we're not really getting as much out of that pump as we, as we could another similarity you're eyeing that section i can see that you're looking for that section you've got speed you've got this mid face um sort of approach now this is where i'm saying that you've kind of got a shallow bottom turn at the bottom of the wave but then all of a sudden you really lean hard on that bottom turn so this, it, it, it kind of takes out your angle for your air. It kind of means that you've got even further that you need to rotate if you do get above the lip, and it does take a little bit of a speed away. Now, you've done the similar thing to Ruben where you've over-rotated so that you're going to spring round. So you've got this arm here. You're going to spring both arms right round. But you've because you've got this deep bottom turn here and you don't have the the horizontal line that he has you've got even further to rotate it does also mean that because that other arm is over your front foot there is a chance that you're going to bog as well on that front foot so similar approach but just maybe uh, a shallower bottom turn would have would have allowed you to have more freedom of your movement as you come up into this turn then again you've gone for a lift and extension at the lip which is very similar to what Ruben's done. But you can see the difference being how he's, by this point, he's leaning back and his head and his arms are really over -talked, whereas you're sort of looking down at this section here. So it's almost a straight air attempt. Um, but but we've got to get the, the board out of the water first. Didn't quite get the pop because we maybe weren't going fast enough, maybe didn't throw our arms high enough. But even still, you can see you've come out of the water here. But this arm here, this left arm, is going to start coming behind you, much like the pump was before, whereas you're trying to go that direction, and this back arm is taking you that direction. So you're going to end up staying directly over the board, whereas much like Ruben, remember, we want to get the board away from us so we can spin, and then bring the board back underneath us as we're coming round. If we're going for a straight air, then we need to keep that arm in front of us still, because we want to make sure that as we, if we're doing a straight arm, that arm if as we come down, we stay over our board and we can ride out into the next section. So that's why that, that left arm never really wants to come behind you when you're trying to execute the maneuver. See that back arms come behind. So all your weight's now over the heels, your bum's off this rail, the board's flat, and you're just going to sink straight into those heels and straight off. 
So the points we're looking at then is how we pump for speed by lifting our arms, lift, compression, lift with the arms. Then as he's coming for his approach, he's leant back, he's over rotated his arms and his head round and then let the spin do the rest of the work. So full speed, pump, pump, look, where's the pump? There's your pump, could it have been faster? Yeah, probably. And then that shallower bottom turn that he had on that approach there, not such a deep uh, bottom turn on yours. And then leaning back a bit earlier, see he's leaning back way before contact, so he can throw his arms around and look with his head. Gets the pop because of that, and the board comes around underneath him. And then easy compression right out. We we'll see yours here. Slightly deep bump turns, killed a bit of speed. And then that leaning back is there, but we're not throwing our head and arms around, continuing that rotation round. Got to trust it. Got to bring your uh, your eyes to look over your shoulders. That left arm force around. Keep pushing that left arm around. 